Thank you for tuning into Virtual Storytime with the National Railroad Museum. I'm your host, Engineer Alyssa. If you're watching this live on Facebook, please comment below and let us know that you're here and also share it with your friends. I also invite you to like our page on Facebook and to follow us so that you can see all of the new things that are happening here at the museum. The National Railroad Museum is a nonprofit organization supported by public and private donations and by our members. For more information about supporting the museum or becoming a member, please visit our website. This is our book today. Sorry. I love trains. Um, it's a really, it's a really fun book. Um, I obviously love trains. Uh, I also love my family. Um, I have two little nieces and a nephew that I just love playing with. Um, if you want to comment below what you love or what you love to do, you are more than welcome to. With trains and my family, I also love cooking and baking. I love trying new recipes and even if they're hard and take a lot of time, I love trying them and making them and um, letting other people try new food and I just love spending time in the kitchen. Um, yeah, so we'll dive into our book, I Love Trains by Philman Sturgis. Here's a bunch of different types of cars that a train can carry. So we have a tender, which does coal and water to operate a steam locomotive. A hopper car carries grain. Box cars can carry boxes, but if they're into stock cars, they can carry animals like pigs and cows. Flat cars can carry trucks and other type of equipment or like semi-trailers, they carry those too. But here's our book. I love trains. And that's the crossing gate. So trains, trains, trains. I like trains. And the dog must like trains too because he has a little bandana on. As you can see, the train's right outside the window. I like trains that hoot and roar as they rumble by my door. You can see a bunch of the different cars. And a farm. And then you can see the little boy standing outside the house. First comes the engine, big and strong. So there's the tender. And then here's the engineer that's operating the locomotive. Pulling lots of cars along. So we have that green car. Some cars keep things from the rain and some cars carry trucks or green. So that's like a refrigerator car and a flat car carrying a truck or cows or hogs. I know I said in one of my past videos, cows are my favorite animal. So I love stock cars. or gas, or logs. Some carry steel and some carry scrap. You can see the scrap of old cars in this one car. Or secret stuff that's under wrap. I think that looks like an airplane that's under the tarp. There you can see it a little better. <clears throat> but the best car is at the end as the train goes around the bend. So this is the last car. The little dog. It's red and that's a caboose right? The last car in the train. I also love cabooses. 
up here, this little spot up here, that's a, called a cupola. And they would sit up there for train, to look out for train safety. I wave, and I'm glad to see the car that carries dad. So the little boy waves at his dad, cause he's in the caboose. The conductor and brakeman sit back in the caboose. Trains, trains, trains. I love trains. And then these are some of the other cars. So we have the tank car, some other refrigerator cars. We have the caboose down here. The caboose is a place for the train conductors to sleep. And then a gondola. Gondolas carry scrap metal like old cars and stoves. So these are just a couple of the different cars. I know that we went over this a couple times in different books, but freight trains are very important. We have a lot of freight trains um, in Wisconsin here. That's the majority of the trains that we see, or that I see, especially around Green Bay and up north by me. Um, I hope you liked my book. Um, our activity zone on our website moved under our education tab, but you can also, if you do by chance go in the blog um, area, you can just click here and then it brings you to the new location. I am up on YouTube, all my stuff is in the activity zone, and there's a craft going to be posted down in the comments today, and also um, on the website. I hope you guys have a wonderful day today, and thank you for watching with me, and I'll be back at 10 o'clock tomorrow and through Friday. Bye!